Hey guys, if you want to see my review and lip swatches of these new MAC Oh Sweetie glosses, then keep on watching. Alright guys, so first of all, I have all 15 shades of these MAC Oh Sweetie glosses. And these glosses are unlike any other MAC lip glosses ever. These glosses are not sticky in the least because MAC is pretty well known for having their lip glasses and dazzle glasses, even though they're very pretty and sparkly and glossy, they're super, super goopy. So these are not like that. They're super comfortable, very pigmented. Some of them have more metallic finishes and other shades have more kind of um, glossy finishes. So it depends on the shade. So you can see the differences in the lip swatches that I'll put up at the end of this video. They will retail for $17 each. These MAC O Sweetie glosses will be released online on June 11th and they'll be released in store on June 14th. Now, the flavors of all of these um, lip glosses are all kind of food or dessert um, treats, sweets kind of um, flavor profiles. And for instance, this kind of bright, super bright orange gloss, um, it's kind of the color equivalent of Fenty Beauty's A Saucy Lipstick but in gloss form. So it's this very like bright carrot, carrot orange color and the flavor is called Banana Muffins. And oh my gosh guys, Oh, it, this, it smells exactly like banana nut muffins, like the kind you get at Costco. Exactly. And I can't even begin to tell you how extremely, extremely yummy all these flavors smell and taste like. Some, you know, wearing these glosses, it kind of makes you want to lick all the gloss off your lips and then you'd have to reapply them because they smell and taste that good. You know, for instance, the coconut macaroon one really does taste and smell like coconut macaroons. That death by chocolate shade, guys, it's exactly like yummy, 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 a dark chocolate kind of flavor. Oh my God, it's just overwhelmingly amazing. I do not know how they were, how Mac was able to impart that sort of same kind of essence of each of these um, desserts, but they really did an amazing job. And guys, these glosses, look at the packaging. Let me show you a close up. Look how adorable the packaging is. So all the unicartons have the same sort of a, a sprinkled kind of pattern on the uh, unicartons, but these two shades, uh, the Panna Cotta shade and the Death by Chocolate shade, they have kind of, they have these pictured sleeves that kind of go in and out little designs on the outside and the unicartons kind of fit and slide in and out of them. So these are the two shades that have kind of a different sort of packaging. But the sprinkles, the sprinkles unicarton fit inside and slide in and out. So these five shades are my favorite colors. So first is this uh, shade Gumdrop and the shade is gorgeous. It's like this bright pinky coral um, kind of shade. It's really perfect for a summer. This next shade, Purple Panna Cotta, the color is divine, this Purple Panna Cotta. It's like the most purple kind, most purple. It's the most perfect uh, kind of um, muted uh, mauve shade. So it's very unique because you don't see many lip glosses in this shade and I love this shade. My third favorite is a Coconut Macaroon. It's this lighter kind of taupey metallic color and oh my gosh, if you love coconut, this smells just like coconut macaroons. And the shade, it's the perfect sort of like a J-Lo bronzy lip if you're gonna go do like a fashion shoot on the beach or something. It's just kind of perfect, especially if you have, I think like medium skin tone, this would really, I think, suit you. But I love this shade personally too. So my fourth favorite, and these aren't in any particular order, is raspberry cream and so raspberry cream not to be confused with the other shade that's called raspberry Pablo pavlova not to be confused with the other shade that is called raspberry pavlova this is raspberry cream and it's this bright bright kind of fuchsia pink with like a blue flip to it 
and it's just gorgeous and super glossy and I love this shade. It's the perfect bright when you want to keep your eyes, like your eye look more muted and maybe more gold and bronzy. And kind of like with what I have now on my eyes, this color would really shine, like no pun intended. It would really just, I think, complete the look. And this is a gorgeous kind of unique um, pink shade, bright pink shade with a blue flip. So my fifth favorite color is called Creamy Peach Pie, I think. Yeah, Creamy Peach Pie. And this smells just like peach candy. I've said in multiple videos that I love a peach anything. I love real peaches, like the fruit. I love, you know, peach candies. I love peach soda. I just love peach, you know, peach lotion, peach body spray, whatever. Peach, I'm a peach, I'm obsessed with peach. So this does not disappoint. The shade is this kind of gorgeous, kind of nudie peach um, shade, and it kind of would go with a, a variety of makeup looks because it is more muted. Um, and also, the taste and the smell is just divine. So, yes, these are my top five um, shades and flavors. Um, they're not in any particular order. It just depends on my mood at the time and what kind of look I'm aiming for. So, yes, I love these five shades in particular. Of course, there are some of the more kind of out there shades like that lime green and that kind of fluorescent cloud blue and like a straight up like white that has a sort of like blue flip to it and then a kind of white with like a pinkish white uh, gloss. So those shades in particular are kind of harder to wear by themselves alone, but they would especially be nice to kind of change or add dimension to specific lipsticks. So if you wanted to kind of make your lips look a little bigger, you could use that kind of white with the blue flip or um, the white with the pink flip and use that on any kind of colored lipstick in the middle of your lips and it will just add sort of um, a kind of a voluptuousness to your lips to make your lips kind of pop more. And the blue shade and the green shade you could always add to any, any colored lipstick too to kind of, kind, of, kind of morph the color a little bit and to make your lip look a little bit more interesting. Or if you're going for more of like a graphic kind of look, of course you can wear any of these shades alone. It just depends on what kind of look you're going for. Because not everyone just wants one type of lip gloss. Maybe some people want a more kind of editorial look. So anyway, when I forgot to mention, so if you want to pick between one of these kind of more unique bright colors, if you're choosing between the blue or the green, um, the blue is a lot more pigmented and opaque than the green is. The green you really have to build up. So yes, I would definitely go with the blue over the green. Now let's get to the best part, lip swatches, so you can see all these shades in action.
right guys so that's the end of my mac oh sweetie lip gloss lip swatch video and review video hope you enjoyed it hope it was helpful please like and subscribe i hope everything is going well with you guys and i'll see you guys on the next one bye guys